Oh my God. Don't mind my double chin. I'm trying to, I'm trying to hide it. I've just, I'm so dumbfounded and I'm so just like, I'm so sick of all these motherfucking fuck boys. I'm sick of all these fuckers not being honest. I'm I'm so sick of all I'm sick of fucking with boys. I want a I want a man. I don't want a fucking boy, okay? So the reason why I'm saying this is because it takes me off when people are just not honest, you know? I hate it when people aren't honest. I hate it when people try to sneak around, be superstitious, not superstitious, but be very just sneaky and shit like that. It's just like, I ain't got time for that shit. Okay, so give you giving you a basic rundown. So I was, you know, talking to this one guy for at least five and a half months. We were talking in October of 2016. And when I first met him, he was, or when I first started talking to him, he was, I think, one month out of a three and a half year relationship that he just ended, or um, the other person ended. And he was devastated in there. And I was I was there for him to just be like, hey, I'm here for you if you need to talk, blah, blah, blah. You know, we would talk and whatever. January came around. I started to develop some feelings for him. So I told him in January that I like you. And I basically told him, I like you, um, but I don't know where you stand because he's very flirtatious. Let me tell you, like he'll send all those fucking like heart emojis or the kissing emojis. And then he'll send me pictures of him half, half naked. Sometimes he sends me a picture of his bare ass. Sometimes it's just like, I don't know what he's trying to, I don't know what he's trying to do or send. So I let him know how I felt. And I said, if you don't, I specifically told him, if you don't like me, that's okay. If, oh. I said, if you don't like me, that's fine. And I made a little joke. I said, if you don't like me, that's fine. But to make the blow a little bit more soft for me, um, look up the movie, He's Just Not That Into You, and text it to me. So I know you're not into me. And then he he goes on with this bullshit lie saying, oh, well, I do like you, but, um, you know, I tend to grow in, I, and I tend to jump into relationships too quickly. And, um... You know, my last relationship took a lot out of me and I lost a lot of myself in it because I had to please that other person. He's like, blah, 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 blah. He's like, oh, you know, I just need to find myself. And I'm like, he told me to be patient. And I was like, okay. I wasn't going to be patient. You know, if a vato would ask me out, I'd be like, yeah, hell yeah, let's go out. So he said, you know, I appreciate your honesty, blah, blah, blah. And I thought he was being honest with me too. But that wasn't the case because in two months later in March... Um, he, you know, he, I guess like he meets this guy at a club on Friday, right? Sunday, that guy at the club is all up on his bed, kissing and fucking making out with him. Cause I, we have each other on Snapchat and he posted that. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking to myself, you do realize you have me on there and you know, I like you, right? Like the fuck. So that happened and you know, they're together now. I'm guessing, I'm assuming and what frustrated me was the fact that he couldn't even man up and say, I don't like you. I would have been fine. I wouldn't have been butthurt about it. I would have just been like, okay, great. I wanted to know how he felt. I wanted to know his opinion. Not his opinion, but I wanted to just know what he was feeling. You didn't need to tell me that, oh, I need. I jumped into a relationship too quickly. Nigga, you fucking jumped into a relationship when you only met a guy for 48 hours. Like over someone you've known for five and a half months who helped you through a fucking, through this freaking uh, long ass relationship you had. I was there to talk to you. I was there fucking, you know, um, there to talk to you three and a half hours. I stayed till five in the morning talking to you and you told me if you're tired, you'll go to sleep. I didn't go because that's because I care. That's why I didn't go. That's why I didn't go to sleep. You know, and then he also tried to fuck with some other nigga in December. And then I was there to comfort him when he was fucking crying to me. And I'm just like, yeah, I'll be there for you. But, you know, I decided to to just end it or not even talk to him anymore. I think March 24th. But you know what? I ended it positively. I wanted to leave on a positive note. I don't, And also, I didn't want to leave MIA and just be like, just delete him off everything and not even say an explanation because I wouldn't want that for me. So I sent him a voice message. I didn't call him because I doubt he would have answered. So I just told him basically in a rundown, you know, I'm happy for you. My only issue with that was you could have been honest and said you didn't like me. And then I said, you know, I wish you and him all the best. Um, 
I said, I wish you and him all the best. I wish you nothing but happiness and nothing but positivity. That's all I wish for you. You know, and then after that, I unfollowed him on Instagram and I unfollowed him on um, Snapchat. Did I ever get a response from him? No, he just unfollowed me. And I was like, okay, showed how much you really fucking care. Even though, you know, even though in, in the months we were talking, he said he loves me, he's happy he's met me. But obviously that's not the case if you don't even want to give me a fucking explanation saying, thanks, I am happy. He could have been shady, said, thanks, I am happy. But you know what? Not saying something, show something. So that's what... That's what really, just to show, just to show, by the way, he's older than me. He's, a, you know, a couple years away of hitting 30. And, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, you know, let me just say he's a good, at least a good five years older than me. Let's just say that. Approximately five years. I'm not going to say his age. I'm not going to say my age, but he is a good five years older than me. So not a good, he's like a low, he's older than five years, but he's, okay, putting it this way, he's He's older than me by over five years, but he's not over 10 years, if that makes sense. So, so our gaps are, he's at least five years older, but not over 10 years older, if you know what I mean, you know? So it's in between that age, five and 10. So those, are the, those are the ages. No, not even. Okay, just putting it this way. He's seven years older than me. How about that? So he is almost hitting 30. Almost, kind of hitting 30. So he's almost on his way to 30. In a couple years, he'll be 30. So I wanted to be the mature. I wanted, you know, for me, I feel like I'm an old soul because I am young. So I do feel like I'm an old soul. So I wanted to leave on a good note. So I said goodbye. I wish him all the best. It, did it hurt? No, but it stung a little bit. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't be honest with me. He couldn't be like, yeah, I don't like you. So I wished him all the best, you know, um, and he didn't, I didn't hear a response from him or whatever. So then fast forward a couple of days, don't ask me how I know this, but a couple of days later, okay, just to say I didn't block him off of anything because what's the point? You know, I wanted to end things on good terms and I just wanted to say goodbye the right way. So I, I'm i not going to be petty and I'm not going to block him because that's just immature to me. Tell me why this fucker blocks me on Instagram. And I know this may sound like super high school and petty and shit, but to be honest, I laughed because first of all, he's private. So why did he feel the need to block me when he's private and I can't look at his stuff anyway? And second of all, it made me think if he could explain that logic to me, I would love to hear it. But I just really thought that was asinine and really retarded. So anyways... After that, um, it just made me realize, like, like, what? And it made me think, like, wow, wow, like, here I am trying to be the mature one and be civilized and say, here, you know, I, I could say, I was the one trying to be civilized and say, you know, I want to say goodbye, but I wish you nothing but happiness. Did he wish me happiness? No. You know, I... I decided to be a nice person and do this and he decides to block me as a retaliation of maybe what I did. It's just like, nigga, it's just like, act your motherfucking age. Why am I seven years younger than you when your ass is acting like a fucking child? It's just like, I'm sorry, but it should be the other way around. I should be the immature one. And he's just acting so fucking petty. I did not think that he could, I didn't, I didn't know he was that type of person where he could be so fucking petty and block me and I know this may sound really little but I just find it like I just find it like a slap in the face is just like really like why am I a bigger man than you like are you like why are you acting like you're in fucking high school like bro like you you're you were out of high school years ago act your fucking age act fucking mature and you know what he needs to stop acting like a little ass kid. Stop acting like a 12 year old. That's probably why he got with the guy who looks 12 years old because you know what like he says I remember one time he told me he 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 was telling me that he's into like the more um, masculine men because every gay guy basically is. And of course, I'm not that masculine, but you know, I'm not. I'm I'm mm -mm. no like yo. Don't underestimate me thinking I'm all like this because I'm not like that all the time. You know, I feel like I'm a mix between masculine and flamboyant because one time um, he said something to me 
no, he sent me like a scandalous picture of him and his ass or some shit. And I let him know and be like, I would fuck you so hard. And he got, I guess he got a little uncomfortable because he likes being the dominant one. But I'm like, bitch, don't even try me because I could fuck you harder than any other nigga can. Because don't, just don't think just because I got long hair and wear extensions doesn't mean that I like to take it in the ass. Because I could fuck you hard until you can't sit down the next day. So, bitch, how about that? And I noticed that I, I guess he didn't like that I was, I'm the one taking control. And also, with his past relationships, I noticed that they are either very, of course, dark hair, short hair. I, I, I think his type is short hair, dark hair, um, twinks. Um, and people that are more on the flamboyant side because he says he likes masculine men, but I'm sorry, those, seeing his, because I know who his ex is, I've seen his ex-boyfriend before, and then seeing his now current boyfriend, they look very similar. So I think he likes baby face, 12 year old, 12 year old looking boys, and that's not me, obviously. I got facial hair. Um, I got a little bit of, I got a little bit of stomach in me, see? This is me holding in my stomach, this is me not, see like, Look at that crease because I'm fat, so like my fat goes out. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm sorry that I'm not what you wanted. You could have been honest with me and said you didn't like me. Like, oh, I'm better off as friends. Like for me, that's why I'm always honest if someone likes me, which is not very often because I'm nobody's type. But if someone likes me, I'm gonna be like, oh, I think you're a nice person, but I'm you're just not my type. Like something like that. It's just like what's so hard of telling someone you don't fucking like them. And as petty as he is by blocking me, guess what I did? Nothing. Because you know why? Because I'm mature. I'm better than that. And I'm not going to stoop to that level. I know myself and I know who I am. And I'm not going to do that. And you know what? <sighs> he is lucky that I'm not like that. Because let me tell you something. When you, when you want to be petty with me, I'm going to let it slide because I'm better than that and I'm not going to deal with your bullshit. But given the right circumstances, I could stoop even fucking lower to your level. And I play to win. I'm sorry. Like when I play, I'm very competitive. So if he wants to play these games with me, I could play them twice as hard. And I, I could make him cry for the 15th time he's ever cried to me. I could make him cry harder than any other guy has. Because you know what? I got things in my back pocket. I could just flip it. Well, pow! You know, like, I, like, I can be petty. If, you know, I'm not, that's not who I am, but he doesn't know who the fuck he's messing with. He just barely got to know me because, let me give you a couple scenarios. <clears throat> he wants to block me. He doesn't know that I have a long list of shit I could do. My friend has him on Instagram. I could ask her to report his uh, page. I could ask her to report all his pictures you know, um, he ha he sends he he ha um, I have like half naked pictures of him. I have naked pictures of I have pictures of his ass. I can make an Instagram account for it. I can make a you I can make a Twitter. I can make a Facebook. I could send all his family pictures of his fucking underwear and ass and shit like that. It's just like, you know, I could go to Best Buy, go go in the electronic section with all the phones. I could take a picture of his app on all the phones so everyone could see it. I could post a picture of his phone number on an ad. I could post a picture of his phone number on fucking um, Best, the Best Buy phones. There's so much I could fucking do. And if he tries to like expose, like yes, I have sent him pictures of my ass. If he wants to set, if he wants to uh, expose my nudes or not my nudes, but my back nudes, I don't know, my ass. If he wanted to do that, we'll let him. I'll be the first one to fucking... Sorry, low, 20% battery. <laughs> I will be the first one to, to leak my own fucking nude. So he don't got to worry about that shit, okay? So it's just like... I could be petty if I wanted to chew. I already got... I already showed you that list. Mm, you know, I could play twice as hard, twice as fierce, until he's fucking six feet fucking under. But you know what? Like I said, that's not who I am that's immature, that, you know, I was in high school, I was in high school like years ago. Like, why am I gonna go back to that? You know, I feel like for me, as I, every year or every day, I grow and grow more as an individual. That's why I like to say I'm an old soul because I just know, I just learn a lot more. And I learned so much and obviously he hasn't learned all that stuff and he's seven years older than me. So I feel like he really needs to grow up and really just hang out with very intellectual people or just people that will give him knowledge instead of just 
hanging out with people who are just petty or I don't know who he, he hangs out with. But I feel like he really just needs to hang out with people that are better influences, people who do positive things, you know, because obviously he's not getting it if he's hanging out with his current circle of people. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, and also like, it's just like, grow your, act your age, be a fucking man, be honest, grow some fucking balls, take accountability for your actions. I mean, there's not much else to say. It's just like, just be fucking honest with people. That's all I got to say. Cause I ain't got time to play these fucking games. I got, I ain't got no time to fuck with boys. I have time to fuck with men. That's what I do. And obviously he's still a boy. That's why he's dating someone who looks like a boy. And that's pretty much it. I'm sorry that you didn't like me cause I cared about you so much. I mean, whatever. I just wish him all the best. Like I said, I wish him no ill will, but I wish things would have turned out a little bit more differently. Anyway, until next time. Bye.